What's up YouTube? As you can see I'm doing something different today, instead of actually doing a slideshow, I'm actually recording with a camera, uh, this is the first time I'm doing, so if you in the end end up this, enjoying this video, feel free to leave a like, it means a lot to me, and it's the best way to support my work. So this is something that I'm trying new, like I said, I will talk about certain things in the hobby, certain topics that I believe are relevant, and I can make this I would say one a week, one a month, I'm not sure, uh, it will depend if you guys enjoy uh, this type of videos or not. So, again, if you enjoy, feel free to leave a like, if you are not a member of my channel, uh, consider to subscribe, I'm very thankful for all the support. And apart from that, no financial advice, English, as you can see at this point, is not my main language, any types, any, any, any mispronunciations, I'm sorry. So let's start with this and I want to talk about why it's so important to stay on the market for a long time. I tend to say time in the market beats, uh, beats timing the market. And this is a quote that a lot of people tend to say, but I'm not sure if people really believe in this or not. I personally believe quite a lot and I will share a story with you that I, I believe could be something to, to think about. Look, I played Magic for more than 20, 20 years, I collected Magic for more than 20 years and uh, markets are very similar in general, no matter if you are talking about TCG, basketball, soccer, does not matter. I remember the first time Magic ended up actually going down in terms of value. My collection was doing very, very bad at the time. Prices are awful. Basically, Wizards ended up releasing a edition at the time, mirrored in. If you guys play Magic, you guys know what I'm talking about. That a lot of people end up leaving the hobby at the time. And I remember one of my friends told me, you know what, Magic is actually dying. And the first time I was, yeah, maybe it's actually dying. Maybe I actually should uh, sell my collection while I can, because look, who knows, maybe this will go into zero. But guess what? I was so addicted to the game that I actually ended up not selling my collection. And I, I kept playing at the time and buying <laughs> with, with a discount because things are so cheap. There is so many people leaving the hobby that I could actually afford most of the, the cards I, I wanted at the time. And guess what? The market ended up recovering and going to all time highs a couple of years after that crash, after that correction, whatever you want to call it. Basically, we saw a bearish market and later a, a bull run on the market again and my friend ended up coming back to the hobby which was quite funny and at the time he said yeah I was wrong but uh, I still love the game I will keep playing and I was of course that, that that's amazing and it's something that I was very happy to see my friend playing again but guess what uh, cycles they happen all the time and magic ended up going down again when I'm saying down I don't think I'm talking about 80% 90% but in general the market was not doing very well um, and even in magic at the time and even right now it's quite quite similar to soccer if you invest a lot in ultra modern product in modern product versus investing in vintage in, in the case of magic was reserved at least you are, you are taking a risk but uh, prices end up going down actually across the board and my friend told me you know what this is the time I'm pretty sure magic is actually dying. At the time I was like, mm, I was still not sure because I was still, uh, look, what I know about fundamentals, what I know about value investing right now was very different uh, uh, at that time. But I was like, mm, I'm not sure you said this the last time. But uh, in the other hand, I was like, maybe this time it could be correct. But guess what? I was so addicted. I, I was enjoying the game so much that I stayed in the hobby. And Again, you guys probably know the story. The market ended up recovering again. And uh, my friend actually ended up coming back again. But guess what? My friend was leaving the hobby, selling at the low of the low, or at least close to that, and buying when prices are going up. Are you guys relating this with, uh, with the market right now in soccer? Because I believe there is a lot of people doing this mistake, selling right now, and when the market will go up, I can guarantee a lot of, a lot of those guys will, will come back to the market because they think it will be different. But they do not understand that the market is not, the market is not the problem. The problem is you, basically. The problem is you not being pensioned, not staying focused on, on your goal. Is you that, look, I talk about this all the time. When the market is doing very well, there is this toxic positivity, toxic positivity, I'm sorry, going around that people cannot see the other side. People can only see good things. I remember when the, when the market was going up for Lionel Messi, people was, was telling me Lionel Messi cards will be one million to millions in a couple of months. And actually was selling a couple of, of my messages because I, I was, you know what, 
the, pri the prices end up, end up uh, going up 4x, 5x in such short period of time and historical when this, this happens there is a correction after that and I was, I, was, I was actually correct on that not that I think I'm a genius or any type of guru on, on investment no, by any means I make a lot of mistakes but the reality is if you stay in the market for a long time you start to understand trends you start to understand the, the psychology of the market and a lot of you guys maybe not my audience because my audience is very well educated but big part of the market do not understand this type of narrow this type of trends that again when the market is, is going up everyone uh, thinks the market will be uh, going up forever you can tell but we know that's not the case yes I know but <laughs> that's the reality when things are going up people people are too bullish basically when people are, are too bullish you, you need to, to be in the other side you need to be the one selling cards to, to, to those guys selling assets to, to those guys and you can apply this logic in almost every market look I'm not a crypto guy. I I have a couple of money, or at least I, I had in the past a couple of money in crypto. But even in crypto, you see a lot of that. Uh, I'm not going into stocks because I know this this new generation they 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 relate more with crypto. But for example, when Bitcoin is doing very well, you guys see Bitcoin will be better than the dollar. Bitcoin will be the next big thing. The United States will will have to adapt the the, the Bitcoin and crazy stuff like that. That of course is at least right now very far from reality. But that's the reality of the market in the end people are too bullish people can only see the best case scenario when bitcoin is, is going down what what is the, the the normal type of talk blockchain what is that blockchain is nothing that special when blockchain is actually a great uh, is actually great technology but that's the, the type of behavior that people that are not aware of the market not aware of markets work i'm sorry if i'm not explaining this very well with my my english again not perfect but that's the the reality people and again if i'm saying people are too positive in one side when things are going down and let's say right now in the soccer card market we are still facing a correction especially in the ultra modern market and in the pre-modern market vintage is still doing very decent but still facing a correction in certain items but when things are going down uh, right now in the in the in the pre-modern market I, I got a couple of comments. No, the pop for Lionel Messi is just insane. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> is not even to a top five player. You see narratives changing uh, in a drastic way. But again, if you are a value investor, you need to be careful on this moment. You, you, you can't get caught to, in this type of toxic negativity. But you can go. But in the other end, you need to understand also the other side. Maybe things are not that bad, and maybe things are not that good. So right now, again. No financial advice for logic reasons. I'm actually buying a lot. The market is down quite, quite heavily. I'm buying a lot. I know World Cup is, is basically, um, uh, is very soon, basically. And I believe a lot in the soccer card market. But like I said, if I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, and I could be wrong, to be fair, because who knows when the market will, will recover. I'm, I still love what I'm collecting. And that's also very, very important. I tend to say this, and some people actually, they, they take offense when, when I say stuff like this. Look. If you love basketball, collect basketball, don't, don't, don't come into soccer. Because look, if you are just buying the price, when the price changes, you do not understand the value. Price and value, two completely different things. I talk about this a lot of times. A lot of people, they care about the price. They do not care about the value. When the value, when the, I'm sorry, when the price changes, their perception changes automatically. But if you love the product, if you see a lot of great fundamentals, if you assess the value and then the price, that's the correct way to approach the market. I'm not sure if I'm making a lot of sense or not for, for, for most of you guys, but I hope my words are actually having some type of impact, basically. So, uh, to finish this, and uh, this is... Uh, to, to actually finish the, the first story, actually, the third time my, my, my friend ended up getting into the market again, into Magic the Gathering, he ended up loving Magic the Gathering to some extent, probably not like me, but Magic, again, ended up going to another phase, ended up going to another cycle, and actually facing another correction, and I actually remember he, he telling me the same thing, maybe not exactly the same words, but he told me, you know what, I, I, no, no, this time I actually believe Magic is, is dying, and at the time I said, no, it's, it's not, basically, and you can see, look, the first time I almost got caught, the second time, Mm, I was still unsure. The third time was, no, it's not. 
what is that is time in the market okay is i saw a lot of trends i saw a lot of different markets i saw a lot of different cycles and with that you get a lot of experience i know this is quite boring people tend to say you need experience on the market you need to stay on the market but this is actually true of course there is people that stay on the market for 10 years and you with one two years you can know you, you can know way more than than me with with 20 years on the magic the gathering market without any type of doubt but that being said some experience at least i would say two three four years i believe is necessary to understand cycles to understand the um, trends on the market so that's my my thoughts about this um, and to finish actually this is and everything is actually quite related i tend to say the best advice i can give to, to you guys is, is stay focused stay in your lane of competence because i, I truly believe in that look um, I, I, a lot of times i get uh, um, dms on my instagram on my discord whatever that does not matter the people they, they, they tend to tell me you, you know what should i buy into f1 should i buy into basketball should i buy into pokemon right now logan paul is coming back stuff like that look the answer i don't know because maybe you actually know a lot about those markets but i don't trust a lot of those guys for one reason look i have i have difficult times and by the way again i've been collecting for more than 20 years i have, I, I have a lot of difficult to, to find time to learn everything about soccer and even about magic and again magic for more than 20 years so how can how can a lot of you guys be collecting pokemon soccer f1 cricket i don't understand that i actually believe that's a mistake most of people are doing losing focus again if you are having a lot of fun look you do you but in the other hand i think being a collector for some people is an excuse or uh, is, is just an excuse because they are not focused on the market they they have no uh, goal and look maybe i look at this as some type of value investor you guys may hate that concept but in reality if you want to to grow your collection at least my experience learn about one market maybe one year from now you can go to, to another market and, and have a lot of success again because some things they will translate into other markets but the reality is look even if you want to, to just learn about the messy market even the messy hooky market i can guarantee you need months and months on research i know a couple of stuff that i'm pretty sure most of you guys don't know about the, the messy market print runs i have a lot of research to do, uh, done on that front i know a couple of print runs on Lionel Messi's I will make a video about that very soon by the way but that's something that a lot of people don't put time they they see f1 going up they think f1 will be the next soccer when f1 goes down they they, they get back to soccer but guess what soccer is at all time highs again and they will get caught again into the fomo into the fear of missing out and this is something to think about stay focused time in the market without any type of doubt beats time in the market and to finish this idea everyone tries to time the market to some extent look i'm no exception when i have something on PLCC that i'm trying to sell i tend to look at the trend on the market and to see no soccer is doing very well right now soccer is not doing very well maybe i should hold those items i try to time the market to some extent but be aware that there is a likely scenario will fail on that and if you stay on the market for a long time you will understand trends in a different way that's why time in the market beats time uh, that's why time in the market beats time in the market guys have a nice day have a nice um, basically happy new, new year uh, happy holidays and see you guys tomorrow bye